Welcome back to Hightail Spins. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how Mojang is in big trouble for copying Hightail. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So recently, Mojang released a trailer that looks a lot like Hightail. However, fans are now observing that the two games are highly similar to one another. But what is this about? Where does Mojang stand when it comes to copying Hytale? Well, there are actually a lot of similarities between the two games. First, they are both free to play. In terms of video game or general hype, nothing will ever come close to what Hytale has achieved since its announcement in 2015. Despite the fact after seven agonizing years of speculation, we've learned the names of dozens of mobs, heard game music, and even become acquainted with every area within what we'd be able to explore. A few critical questions remain unanswered, however. The most important of these is whether the game will be free or paid. I believe I found the solution, so gather your tools and put on your fancy knapsack because we're about to delve deep into this subject. To begin, some fundamental facts about Hytale must be established. As we all know, the game is the work of a small group of modders who have never created or monetized a full-fledged game before. As a result, many people assumed that the game would be free at first, with some even speculating on a monthly fee-based system. After all, the game must compensate for the years they spent developing it. Many other game experts and I, on the other hand, have discovered a pretty solid case that all but guarantees that Hytale will be free to play after a thorough investigation. On top of that, a lot is coming for Hytale as well. There's an advanced movement system. If you think Hytale will be another block-style game with robotic movement like Minecraft, we think you have unrealistic expectations. Sure, the type of movement evokes a lot of nostalgia, but let's be honest, it feels a little restrictive and archaic. In the most recent Hytale update, we noticed a group of avatars traveling through the game's landscape. In any other context, the scene would be unimportant. But in the final shot, the protagonists jump onto a ledge and grab it with their hands. This is followed by a climbing movement, which we haven't seen in Minecraft or any other Hytale update before. This feature indicates that the developers have advanced beyond basic movements and are now experimenting with more complex concepts. Because they will not be stranded behind something that is clearly within their reach, players will be able to broaden their exploration boundaries. This brings a new level of realism to the game that was previously unavailable to, due to outdated mechanisms. Avatars can also be personalized. We can expect the developers to continue adding options for customizing our appearance in the game. After all, our wardrobe is a way for us to express ourselves. And the game's creators are constantly expanding these avatar perspectives by offering new fashion and style options. This year, the corporation has focused on a number of these aspects, and we can expect them to work on even more minor details. Eye color, hairstyles, and players' physique are just a few examples of what they will be expanding on in order to accommodate players from various backgrounds. In addition to these, we can expect more facial details and even fantasy elements. However, Minecraft was based on an open source voxel mining game called Infinite Miner. In terms of Notch's praise, I'd rather Hytale distance itself from both Minecraft and Notch. Especially given that, despite being a talented developer, Notch is also a social media D-bag. Furthermore, there are still some popular and enjoyable MMOs available. Lord of the Rings Online, for example, is a lot of fun and has been around for at least a decade, and has a lot more likable business model. World of Warcraft is undoubtedly the genre's hallmark, but that doesn't rule out the possibility of another game with a dedicated and growing fanbase. My point is that while I don't believe Hytale can replace Minecraft as the hallmark of the block game genre, I do believe it can have a dedicated and growing fanbase alongside Minecraft even if it never reaches the same level of popularity. I don't think Hypixel Studios should ever prioritize replacing Minecraft, and I don't think it ever will, and I know you're not saying it will. I'm just saying it's certainly possible for them to coexist and thrive. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.